हेलो एवरीवन सो वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ बैंड लैब म्यूजिक प्रोडक्शन कोर्स सो इन दिस फर्स्ट लेसन आई एम गोना टॉक अबाउट बैंड लैब एंड इट्स इंटरफेस ऑल दीज लेसन विल बी इन इंग्लिश ऑन दिस चैनल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वॉच दैम इन हिंदी यू कैन गो टू द इटर्निटी लर्नर्स चैनल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स टॉक अबाउट वट इज बैन लैब बैन लैब इज अ फ्री ऑनलाइन टूल वेर यू कैन ईजिली मेक बीट्स म्यूजिक एंड सॉन्ग्स फॉर फ्री ऑन मोबाइल If you are a beginner or you are an advanced music producer you can easily produce music in Bandlab in just a few hours so Bandlab is a singaporean app which comes under the Bandlab technologies other than Bandlab this company also owns the Harmony and Heritage guitars guitar.com NME and many more Bandlab stands alone with its flexibility to be used on Android iOS or a PC so for using it on Android or iOS you can just download the Bandlab application from Play Store or App Store for using it on PC you can just simply access the www.bandlab.com the other way to use Bandlab on PC is you can download the Bandlab assistant on your PC the Bandlab assistant is a genuine application by which you can access Bandlab and it also redirects you to your browser where you can access all the features of Bandlab. and as i told you earlier banlab is a free application it means you don't have to pay anything to use the application okay so now we know what is banlab so let's get started with the interface of banlab let us know how it can be used so once you download the application and sign up on it after signing up you see a interface like this so at the bottom of the screen you can see five tabs and they are the feed tab explore tab create tab notification tab and library tab respectively all you see on the center of the screen is the post or feed area where you can see the posts from the people you follow or your own posts i have already mentioned what are the other icons on the top of the screen in the picture so you can see them the tabs and icons i haven't specified in the picture are something of more importance and i'm going to talk about them in detail so let us begin with the bottom five tabs let us know what are they and what are their uses so first comes the feed tab as soon as you open the application you see a tab where you can see the posts from your following including tracks albums and pics and also what you published This tab includes two types of headings that is the following feed and the trending feed in the trending feed section you can see feed from all over the world even from the people you do not follow you can see what people are making and what people are creating next comes the explore tab where you can see the trending and featured tags on banlab here you can find people to follow different musicians you can connect with people follow them see what they make and all kinds of stuff here you can find communities you can join the communities and interact with people also you can see the challenges going on in banlab now the third one is the create tab which is one of the most important tabs everything we make everything we create on banlab we do this from the create tab so create tab leads you to a new world of making music but i'm not going to talk about it in detail here because we are going to discuss about it later on so just to know a little all the projects we make on banlab we do this through the create tab The fourth one is the notification tab where you get all the notifications like who liked your post, who commented on your post, who added your post to a playlist, your tracks to a playlist or what editings are done in your project by your collaborators. If someone follows you, you'll get the notification here. So all these notifications you get in the notification tab. Now the last one is the library tab where you see all your saved projects like everything you make in Banlab and save it you see it here or your projects revisions you see them in the library tab other than these you can see your albums playlists bands communities you join all in the library tab you also see a banlab chat option in the feed tab the first tab i told you about so there is a chat icon in the feed tab on the top right corner where you can communicate with almost everyone in the world who uses banlab you can communicate with banlab itself so another icon you see on the feed tab is the video mix editor which lets you create the video of your projects like you created a song and you want to make a video of it so you don't need to jump out of the application you can make it in the application itself 
video mix editor is for making music videos for the songs you produce so here you reach to the end of the lesson so in this lesson we learned about what is bandlab and the basic interface of bandlab in the next video i'm going to teach you about the create tab in depth so stay tuned for the next coming up lessons if you have any queries or doubts you can feel free to comment in the comment section below i hope you like the lesson if you want to watch all the music production lessons stay tuned on the channel for the upcoming lessons